guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Undone video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get SS rating. Everything explained about the system, how PvP, PvE works, how the rating system works, how everything is done, how you increase your rating as well, and such and such. There's a lot of stuff, dude, but uh, it's pretty simple and easy. To be honest, this game doesn't have any many secrets or content. Like, everyone just knows how to upgrade this, but there's some people who still don't know. There's some couple stuff. Some people are confused, but hey, once you get to know this, this game is simple and uh, easy to understand. Some things are pay to win. You will not be able to get some things. You will have to be spending money to get some things. Stuff like this. If you go to level 40, can't really show it, but you're going to be putting cores on your melee weapons. Some things you will know, but I'm going to include everything in the video. So yeah, so let's start with the first one, which not many people know, but this is pretty simple and pretty easy. All you have to do is click over here on the four dots and then scroll down. There's achievements here. Click on achievements and there you go. You have all your achievements here. And if you click on any tab over here, let's say growth, let's say build, all you're looking for is key achievements. Click on key achievements, boom, or here, anywhere basically. And you can see that this achievement, for example, clear 25 stages and hold the line and it will give you a syringe, enhanced syringe. Injection and enhances character abilities. Increase max HP by three, damage by two, and skill strength by two. Pretty much it just makes you permanently stronger as you consume it. So how do you get them? You do achievements, my boy. That's what you do. So complete these achievements, build, as you can see, explore. Exploring will give you achievements. Let's say knowing 50 recipes goes a long way in the wilderness. Just craft pretty much 50 recipes. Just yoink in some random ingredients in the cooking thingy. Boom of these things unlocked as well as kill five wild boars by sliding all you have to do is just slide into them and they will die and once you kill five you get you claim that as you can see i'm not grinding this i don't care about this game this game is very boring but yeah this video is meant for you to help you out anyways there's also social here key achievements again boom achievements might be easy let's say participate in camp bonfire parties 10 times basically yeah and then kill it I mean, yeah all the stuff you know just read what it says and uh that's that pretty much like workables workables is very easy to get gold with you just sell 600 gold let's say one workable you can sell it for 600 and there you go easy gold man easy clap earned 30k camp contribution that's camp medals if you take a look if you go to your skills here and go to the second tab this is your camp medals camp contribution this is what you get just do camp dailies pretty much you drive the truck you don't need the resources there and that's pretty much it as well as there's gonna be a meal that you eat every single day which is this yeah this is that i missed it as you can see but you eat that as well as you buy this stuff like this as you can see boom i bought it and i got camp contribution 100 so you have to buy this every single day as well as if you well if you have these coupons right here you can buy with coupons you get 50 more of these camp contribution points but hey if you're free to play you might as well just buy it with gold and lose on that 50 but these coupons are very hard to get so as a free to play it's hard to get but if you are pay to win my boy you can literally yoink all your money into this buy rc and just exchange it to coupons that's pretty much that but free to play players are limited for that anyways now you know what syringes are for but now achievements you know what achievements do achievements is literally very important to complete moving on let's go now open our inventory boom click more points here you will see all your points scroll down scroll up pretty much you get the point what we're looking for is forest exploration points the each map has its own exploration points forest exploration points is the first map you get points in so let's uh, go there let's go to world map so signs hills this is the first map this is the first map where you will be getting these points so let me just teleport here real quick okay take a look at this okay let's look at that okay so there's boxes here right i didn't loot anything here i literally have 10 percent exploration in this thing dude but uh oh, the box is literally there okay Okay, let's loot this and if you loot a box boom you get see forest exploration points you need that so let's open this inventory again click more points and now i have 24 forest exploration points let's click use on that and as you can see limit two there's the syringe there's the max energy booster i already bought this but you need this and you need this and as well as look at that you can expand your backpack hey why not dude you get more slots but hey this is what you're looking for you need the max energy booster and the syringe buy the syringe exactly 12 enough for both of them and as soon as you buy it yoink that in inject it bro just like steroids you know what i'm trying but uh yeah there you go look at that rating goes up by 15 every single time you get that so imagine you explore the whole game you explore all the maps open all the chests you're probably gonna get like what 2k rating out of that or something i don't know but hey it stacks up pretty important i would say so that's about that for exploring stuff um once you get forest exploration you go to plains exploration points so you can see it doesn't matter if you click here it doesn't work look at this i click on planes but it still gives me back to the 
redwood forest so here you swap it so you can see here on the right side click on central planes boom this syringe costs six points i have only um five points so to get more points i obviously have to uh loot more boxes and as you can see it's limit three now so i need 18 points to get these three syringes as well as you can buy some outfits and stuff or you can buy some backpack slots again these two things is probably what you want as well as that third one option hey get that outfit my boy if you really need it but uh, let me go get that box for some example central planes it is that is the level 30 map so let's just teleport there all right so let's go grab one box here real quick all right so this box here open that up as you can see i get one planes forest point and i click more points here now i have six and as you can see go to this part here and boom buy one now i can buy two left and then once you buy all of that you have you cannot get more obviously but there's enough boxes to buy everything you need here in this map so once you're done with exploring this stuff right once you're done exploring this map I click here by the way and then um click on the four dots click on explore and now you have each map showing what you explored click on central planes for example once you get more stuff explored you get exploration xp and then you click on level rewards you claim all of these you get coupons for that coupons are important as you know you explore everything boom even more coupons you get these silicons silicon as you can see silicon you need that you, you'll need that for upgrading your shit okay so get out of this now there's also you can click on exploration shop i guess but i just like doing my way instead Could click on more points click on the tabs here and there you go so when i'm level 30 right now i don't have more unlocked here there will be more unlocked once you reach level 40 level 50 and so on and so forth so once you unlock more maps you can then buy more syringes you don't have to unlock the map now let's say you're level 30 but you don't have access to that map you can still explore the map right now even if you're level 30 so let's say i'm level 30 you cannot go to this desert i think because you're gonna die there but let's say you can explore this map this color mines so you can go there right now even if you're level 30 just teleport here let's say okay taking one hour to teleport here let's now all right there we go resource level 30 recommended level 50 you saw that right i'm level 36 i don't have this map unlocked but hey look at this you go here and you can see right off the bat there's a box here boom mines exploration points we got that point okay now we go here click more points and i already have 14 of them but as you can see i cannot buy the syringes with these points because the map is not unlocked yet so pretty much what you want to do is now just explore this and level up until you level up once you level up then you will be able to spend these points but now that's it about syringes there's no other way to get syringes other than achievements and exploring now let's move on most important thing in the game as you can see on my name above my name there is a tide turner what the hell is that that is called a title you click on here click on title and uh if i unequip stats as you can see i lose my rating and now i get 57 rating so i unequip the title right now and uh i don't have my stats anymore but you can still still see the title though well there's a thing called the cosmetic title and the title you actually want to display so cosmetic titles they're just for cosmetic purposes but the actual title which you equip are stats which is gonna give you the actual rating and yeah this is pretty straightforward i think you mostly you all all of you are gonna understand what i'm talking about right but uh you basically want to equip this title here for the stats and once you equip it you can see your rating going up this doesn't really do see anything because again this is cosmetic and this is for stats so i don't have any other title i think oh i have survivor let's equip that one you can see i get 15 rating but obviously this one is worse than the one i have where is it ty turner here boom equip that and 42 so that was that one's better which whichever title gives more rating that one is better and it gives a damage 10 skill strength yeah blah 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 my character is against see is a rating right now i really don't care if it's s or an a i'm still giving you all the tips so it doesn't matter if i have c rating or b basically all the tips that i'm giving you does matter this is literally how you improve your rating anyways so gun you need to have a good gun it doesn't have to be gold i have a blue weapon as well as a blue sniper here you can see blue main gun blue sniper and if you don't actually wear the sniper your rating is going to be lower so like take a look at this let's unequip that let's unequip the sniper right here and look at my rating right now boom i have 7400 rating so if i equip the sniper now i get more rating obviously right so if you get purple sniper if you get gold sniper yeah you will get more rating yeah that's gonna be better anyways you also want to craft a blade more rating better right also you want to craft a drone high rating better everything you want to craft level 30 dude right like as soon as you unlock the level you just want to have new gears 
I already explained how the drone works, but again, I'll just explain it again in this video since this is how to improve your rating. So you basically open your uh, four dots here again and just click on drone here and you can unequip the drone here, equip it. If you want to take the drone out, you click cancel and then you click modify, click return to backpack. Boom, your drone is in the backpack. I don't want it to be in my backpack, so let's place it inside the hangar. Also, I have the syringe here. Let's use that because I forgot to. And yeah, 15 rating. Boom. So let's go back to the drone and again click modify and this is if you get a better drone you obviously want to replace the parts with better parts let's say this is level 8 as you can see i'm able to craft level 30 parts right now so if you craft level 30 parts boom you just yank that here yank that here yank that here you get the point as well as a chip if you have a healing drone if you have a combat drone just yank it here upgrade it boom you get better rating you're gonna get higher rating you're gonna be stronger blah 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 that's how it works so next up let's move to important stuff again skills and camp contribution skills so here if you unlock a new skill and it's a Available to be unlocked unlock it and that's it it will give you like 60 rating 80 rating 40 rating for just unlocking the skill and after that if you keep upgrading it it's gonna give you like 8 it's gonna give you like 10 20 but it's not gonna give you that much as you unlock the first time so you want to unlock basically every single skill but don't upgrade every single skill upgrade whatever you need for example this decoy bomb this is pretty good if you want people if you want to bait people or something and also this is very cheap to upgrade it costs like 200 talent points to upgrade this the most important thing i would say for pve and pvp is probably this corrosive grenade as well as the stun grenade and foam bomb the foam bomb literally just uh, dude it just makes the dude not unable to move so if you nail this grenade down in pvp the dude cannot move for like five seconds or something or wait, never mind stun duration three seconds so yeah they cannot move for three seconds if you nail the nade and this thing stun grenade you throw a grenade that blinds nearby enemies and stuns them same shit i guess as this one i guess it, i don't think it stuns it's just, it's a flashbang but hey this thing, corrosive grenade, you throw that on zombies, it reduces their armor and makes the zombies very easy to kill. Or it's like, it doubles your damage. This is very good for PvE. This is where what everyone pretty much uses. Anyways, let's move on to device. This is also important, the sentries and all that, auto turret. Yeah, just upgrade this. Upgrading this will give you rating, high rating. It's, that's literally it. Passive, now I'm gonna tell you most important skills here. Slide expert, garbage, you don't need it. Armor piercing shell, important. Always upgrade this, prioritize this one. Laceration, useless, garbage, skip it. Upgrade it once, forget about it. If you have unlimited talent points, dude, go ahead, man. Just, just, um, sh dude, go ahead. Just yoink all your talent points. But hey, if you're a free to play, you will not have enough talent points. You will be grinding this thing hard. Pay to win, dude, can just... Oh my god, dude. They have unlimited shit, man. They can just yoink in all their talent points and get even more. So, strong body increases your max energy. Personally, you run out of energy so fast in this game. I don't even get to see, dude. Can I, can I, when can I slide in this game? In PvP, I slide once, boom. I don't have energy anymore. It's over, GG. You die because you can't sprint. So, upgrade this as well. It's pretty important. Maximum firepower increases damage. Important to upgrade. Very important. Upgrade this. Most, I, I would say, most important things to upgrade is armor piercing which is this then this one then agile reduces the cooldown and energy use of rolling and sliding it reduces cooldown but you know what this actually should be i think it should be increases movement speed but i don't know really in chinese version that's what the translation was people said that this increases movement speed but i'm not sure i guess this is actually cooldown of energy use of rolling and sliding so i guess upgrade this personally i really don't know though kind of expensive dude but hey improves damage with melee weapons garbage skip that just upgrade it once and forget about it medic increases rescue speed and damage reduction while rescuing good for pvp i guess but hey upgrade it once and i don't know man personal preference revive people a lot if you don't then yeah up to you man brawler defeating an enemy with a melee weapon restores standard no one uses melee in this game dude it's useless it's garbage can't even get close to people by the time you probably get close to people you're gonna get melted i don't know dude you're just gonna get melted you're gonna peek once you're gonna get sniped bro you, you're gonna you can't even get close to someone melee is useless so don't upgrade this i mean upgrade it once and forget about it because upgrading once these skills will give you a lot of rating like 50 or 60 as i keep repeating myself so yeah fast eater increases the speed of using food and medicine doesn't really matter i would say upgrade it once and forget about it we have a healing gun so once you get the healing gun in the game literally that's what makes pvp easier you just equip the healing gun and just inject syringes and you get healed a lot you don't even have to use bandages or anything else this last stand increases the duration of near death status i mean upgrade it once and then i don't know personal preference dude but once you die it's kind of a gg dude you kind of lose the game if you already died there's no time to get revived unless you, the enemies are far but um ball pursuit increases damage against prone enemies you cannot even prone in the game but uh maybe they meant crouching but hey whatever i guess just upgraded once and kind of doesn't make sense but i think this is more damage to crouched enemies 
that's what it should be. Could upgrade this, but uh, yeah, let's move on to camp contribution skills now. Baron's Hunter. Uh, this skill is useless. It's only good for PvE. For PvP, this doesn't work. It does nothing, dude. It's literally increased damage against zombies, humans, and animals. So humans is not PvP. Humans is humanoids, which are NPCs, such as these bandits and these strongles and shit. You know, that's what it is. So this thing, this skill is kind of useless. Unless you really love PvE, then upgrade this. As you can see, 14 rating for upgrading that. Uh, survival Expert. It raises Survival Expert skill level, which it, in turn increases max HP. So if you upgrade this, all you get is one HP increase for that. That's literally all you get. So just one skill upgrade, one HP dude. Next is um, raises durable armor skill level, which in turn increases them the damage reduction against damage from zombies, humans, and animals. This is PVE and not PVP. Lethal wounds raises amplify wounds skill level, which in turn increases critical hit rate. Um, you get to crit your shots more. So if you shoot the body, you do 18 base damage. Oh, and then you shoot again. Oh, critical hit. Now you did 30 damage to it. So if you shoot the head, let's say right, you do 50 damage and you crit them. Oh, you do 72 damage. That's what crit is. This is very important to upgrade i guess and uh yeah now let's say now let's take a look at this okay critical hit Let, let's actually test this let's go to our profile again and go to our stats your stats is found here click advanced and there you go critical hit so you have 6.5 percent chance to crit critical hit you will have more obviously because hey i don't play this game but i have 6.5 so now take a look at this 6.5 okay let's go back to our skills boom go here Little wounds upgrade this now i have five percent more or 0.5 percent boom now i have seven percent okay so that's how this works next let's go skills again so little wounds now we know how that works bulletproof increases critical resistance what is critical resistance it's a counter to critical hit so it counters it so let's say you you have 1.2 percent critical resistance it's same shit as crit chance as in life after if you play life after you're gonna know what is crit immunity and critical chance it's the same thing dude a literal ripoff of the game bro so i'm not gonna explain what that is i think you are gonna understand next damage amplification raises damage amplification skill level which in turn increases critical damage critical damage so let's say your the critical damage that you do now this is also important to upgrade but your critical damage is based off your damage same shit same thing as in life after if you do more damage your critical damage is automatically going to be higher but as well as well if you want even more critical damage then upgrade the skill sturdy defense increases critical damage resistance by one percent ah, same thing as this one it counters the damage amplification once their crit damage is going to be lower on you if you upgrade the skill now next increases drone damage and damage reduction against enemy this is for the drone so it reduces damage against enemies the drone is going to be tankier look at that i'll grade it 38 rating for that increases skill strength um your nades gonna do more damage your turret is gonna do more damage as well as your heal your heal is gonna do more healing so let's say you have this um let's go to skills right let's go device boom equip that if you uh, keep upgrading your skill strength this thing is gonna keep healing you more as you keep upgrading the skill so that's how it works next let's go to skills again and we have the headhunter raises headhunter skill level which in turn increases weakness damage basically you do more damage to headshots weakness damage means headshots next increases skill strength resistance so it's a counter to skill strength skill strength is nades blah 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 all that stuff so turret's gonna do less damage to you nades gonna do less damage to you it increases skill strength resistance hard head raises hard head skill level which in turn increases weakness damage resistance it lowers the damage of headshot so if you get headshotted a lot it's gonna do less damage to you people are gonna do less damage to you by doing headshots increases damage increases damage in legs in hands in in feet wherever you shoot increases the damage wherever you shoot yeah you get the point weapons defense increases damage resistance well decreases the damage that the enemies do to you that's it so now you know what these skills do all of them increase your rating now rating doesn't matter in pvp but rating matters in pve as i explained already in my previous video if you go to ravens if you go to hold the line and um, you can see that this requires 9000 rating so if you below 9 thousand is gonna be hard to pass if you have let's say 20k rating then it's gonna be extremely easy to pass doesn't matter if you're blue weapon or garbage gear all that matters is rating so stats don't matter all that matters is rating once again so yeah it's pretty simple to explain i guess so now i've explained everything about the skills there's the expertise here you should focus what you really need on the gun so let's say you increases the mains weapon weakness damage you wanna that just pretty much if you hit the head it's gonna do more damage to the head so you could upgrade the skill 20 times or like 
like 18 times and then like focus on like un un unlock one skill once so let's say if your weapon if your main weapon deals a critical hit your armor piercing abilities will be increased for five seconds you could unlock this once and that's it but i'm not gonna get into this just read what the skill does and just choose what you need if you mess up the skills here it's okay you can reset it for 10k silver coins but that's about it here now let's go to the most important part and you might be thinking oh but i already know this no you probably don't let's go to polish let's start with reinforce first reinforce is your mods here um which are these the the this is a reinforce set reinforcement so if you click here you can see this thing here equipment set reinforcement install 10 armor inserts of level 3 or higher as you can see i have six level 3 mods right now installed so let's find six level threes this one has level four level two level two i kind of messed up the mods here it's supposed to be 333, three, three, but hey, I made it 422. Two. I messed it up. Don't ask why. Please. And I also missed this one. So that's six. So like one, two, three, four, five, and six. I have six mods total level three or higher. As you can see here, it says progress six out of 10. So what this means, it means you need to get it level three or higher. As you can see, this one's level two. So look at the progress bar i'm gonna click upgrade on the level two upgrade boom and rating watch this now it's progress seven out of ten i need to get three more mods at level three once i get them level three this is what's gonna what it's gonna do it's gonna give me max hp armor max armor increase so you get a set bonus for doing this don't upgrade them randomly upgrade them how this set reinforcement asks you to so let's say for example let's get as well as you want to keep them equal level as well so if you have level two don't make this level three just make this one level two so like this like this and then you just keep going level two level three level four you get the point so now progress i need three more but i cannot really get that well i can get it on the shoes here so let's get the shoes and as you can see now progress is eight out of ten i need two more level threes uh it's pretty straightforward i think you will understand what i mean and let's move on to the next part which is going to be this now this does doesn't really matter just get it the same level okay let's say this main weapon here as soon as you get it to level 12 i think that's it you pretty much it doesn't matter anymore but polish requires the weapon to be 12 so reinforcement needs to be 12 if it's below 12 you will not be able to polish the weapon so all of these are 13 this one is 12 but as you can see if you enhance this too much it will give you damage over and over so if i keep enhancing it the damage is going to increase but yeah just try to keep these uh, upgraded don't save these things they're kind of useless to save once you get too many of them you can start selling them which is found over here click this arrow here click on trade click on merchant guild click on sale you can sell everything that you don't need here boom 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 sell it when the price is up not down so you get more cool coupons for this and as well as buy them when the price is low let's get to the polish part now so if you take a look oh i accidentally unequipped this okay uh, if you go to polish this is reinforced we already talked about that now the polish here is something else go to polishing okay again you need the gun to be 12 level on the reinforcement which is this the first tab so once you get it to level 12, you will be able to polish your weapon. What you want to do here is make them equal. As you can see, I made the six and this one's level one. Kind of messed it up, but hey, here's what you need to do. Click on the set polishing here. Pay attention to what it says. Six pieces of equipment with polishing three plus three or higher. Same thing as the mods. It needs to be plus three or higher. So as you can see, this one is plus two. If I upgrade this now, if I upgrade this, I will get progress four out of six. Watch this. I'm upgraded. Boom. Progress four out of six. Now, if I upgrade the one to two, it's not going to be progress five, obviously, because it's still not above three or it's not three. So look, look at this polish. As you can see, it's still progress four out of six. So we need to get all of them at the same level. So let's say polish this one, the gloves. Uh, now it's going to be five out of six. So boom, five out of six. So once I get another one, let's say these pants to level three, this set is going to be complete because we're going to have six level threes. So one, two, three, four, five and six. Once that's six done, we get that chef bonus, which is what you want. That's about polish. There's nothing else you need to know. Just make sure you follow the progress bar and uh, make sure you polish them equally. And just remember, you're free to play and the pay to win is always going to be higher than you, boy. Oh, they're always going to be higher than you. Anyways, the most important part is this crafting gear will give your weapon stats, okay? Once you craft weapons, they will give you stats. There's a stats transfer, so don't worry about this. You can always stat transfer once you craft better gear or more gear. Let me ex show you an example, okay? Let's say I'm gonna craft an armor right now. Let's say craft this armor, right? Let's craft an armor. And we got a blue one, a garbanzo one. So if you get a garbage armor, right? You can then 
recraft it and let's say you get a purple one right and you want the stats on the purple one right so what do you do is you take that blue armor that you just crafted with better stats so let's say you got a purple one but with bad stats and you got the blue one with good stats well what you can do is modify click on modify modify right here and then you select stat transfer and what you want to do is stat transfer it from blue to the purple one this is going to be your purple one obviously i don't have an armor to showcase this but this is how you transfer the stats so you can have the blue armor stats in your purple armor or your gold armor and pretty much what you can keep doing is just keep crafting armor craft 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 over and over and over and over until you lose your mind and not get a single gold but hey if you get golds and good stats boom transfer these stats to your new equipped armor and boom you're gonna have all these godly stats on your armor okay and now if you get a gold but you still don't have good stats well what you can do is as well click modify right here click modify and you're gonna get better stats and you click on replace original stats as you can see this is the old and this is the new one this is the original stats and this is replacing the original stats so you're gonna have the new one boom replace and uh it's now done there you go now you have 29 on it and you can keep doing this modify again as you can see i got worse stats if you look modify again boom i got critical damage resistance 3.9 percent that's good for pvp hey cool nice amazing click on replace original stats and there you go now whenever you get something and you want to keep the stats you click on this thing here and it's gonna lock it you want to modify it again you're gonna be spending five of those and you're gonna be spending this core so pretty much if you upgrade again now the locked stat is gonna stay here because you spent that one core and as you can see the rating is lower so i wasted it dog shit actually wasted it and i got worse stats Weakness damage resistance, though, it's uh, increase, uh, it, incre it reduces enemies damage done to you from headshots. So if you click replace original stats, let me actually uh, not do that because this is better. And you can see torso armor, head armor, this basically increases armor, enemies do less damage to you. It's the same thing as armor piercing and damage, it's the same thing that you're just gonna get less damage from enemies. If it's head, then it's gonna be on head, affected only on head, not on torso. If it's on torso, it's gonna be affected only on torso. You get the point. If you click on here, you can see any every single stat you can get in the game. Damage reduction, torso damage reduction, max HP, armor, max, armor increase, armor HP, max ammo, blah, 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 blah. Read what the stats does, you're gonna know what it does. I already explained in this video what it does, you will know what it does, pretty much. What are you gonna, what do you want to aim for though in PvP? You wanna aim for max. Max HP, critical resistance, max armor increase, max armor increase, armor, max HP, torso damage reduction, damage reduction, critical resistance. I mean, if you want HP recovery, you could go for that. Weakness damage resistance, critical damage resistance. All of these things are important for PP, except damage reduction against zombies, damage reduction against humans. All of, the, all of this below the leg armor is PVE, pretty much. So, yeah. But if you're a PVE person, go for these stats, dude. Hey. But if you're PVP, go for these. I mean, up to you. What do you want, dude? You want to be super tanky or you want max HP? Honestly, you would want max HP. HP, you would want armor you have to like mix it up a little bit you also don't want people to you can't just go straight tanky you also need to have everything balanced but hey enough for this now you know how to get these things modified on you how do you get these things you can buy it from the shop one of this costs 400 you can also craft them if you go here click craft click craft weapons click the second icon here and uh, scroll down thermoplastic coating all you need is one leather black fennel copper alloy boom 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 and you use these i not i know ionic membranes dude and you craft 10 of them so let's say i want to craft 50 it's gonna cost me 20 of these so you can keep crafting these you can either use them or sell them and uh yeah yeah let's say you craft 90 of these things that's gonna be how many that's gonna be like uh 40k gold or something i mean yeah you can sell it or you can modify it make yourself stronger but hey at some point you will have to start crafting new gear again modifying the stats locking the stats blah 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 all this nonsense it's all this stupid rng dude I, I hate games like this so let's equip this now boom 38 rating nice cool amazing and as you can see i still have 8 rating i still need to get ss but uh, i'm too lazy to grind i'm still wearing level 20 armor all of this is level 20 this one is this one is what level 16 armor yeah um but yeah once you get level 30 armor once you get things right here polishing everything right correct i need to do some exploration if i did exploring i would have ss everywhere here drone i need to craft a better drone and as well as talents i don't grind at all talents also i'm gonna upload a video on hidden all hidden locations for the treasure so you can get more talents you can dig up treasures and get more talents uh equipment skill now this is a very fun topic here uh you're gonna be grinding these you're gonna be getting these from the sh either the trading post from buying from other players players can sell these chip parts you need to, as you can see, you need to collect 50 in order to craft a chip or that or 30 or that or that, you know, yeah. 
pretty much and you just buy it like that from other players or you get them from events which is raven invitational uh blockade and all that i haven't done these events but yeah that's how you get them okay and last thing i forgot to actually mention is if you click on the four dots go to ravens this is the last thing to get you strong well there's gonna be also the whole astral tower or something like that but that thing is just pay to win man you you you're gonna need high rating to do the astral tower i don't have it unlocked in this account yet so anyways let's go to ravens hold the line well let's do this uh hold the line bro okay so let's uh quickly pass this level dude all right okay nice we passed we got some talent points cool leave since we got the ravens now go click title up now i can promote but as you can see i need to get this homestead so let's go do that stronghold real quick okay so lock this real quick view board boom challenge solo let's get this over with real quick Jonas. that's definitely not a twenty name okay got that done now let's go to ravens boom again title up and now i can promote this claim reward boom we're gonna be bronze now after this look at that bronze five. Oh my god where that again badges are important and you need them to get stronger as well as get some little bit of a high rating so yeah that's that's this this is it chat this there's this is the game that's where you're gonna be grinding and i forgot to mention mods all well, mods are gonna be important as well okay so upgrade that upgrade this Upgrade weakness damage, critical damage, or you can go with armor piercing. Honestly, this one and that one, armor piercing is almost the same as damage. So upgrade these two, and then you can just choose which one you want to upgrade next. And this one upgrades last because it's for nades. I already explained it in my previous video. I'm going to explain it in this one again. But, uh, yeah, that's about it for this, dude. Nothing else you can do here in this game. Pay to win is going to get things easily because they can pay money. They can get talent points easy, and you, you're you going to be grinding that stuff. The last thing is actually the stuff over here now, as you can see this pass here you get a lot of things from here but look at this chat you cannot get any of this stuff because you're a peasant you're not spending money you're, if you want to be a god you have to spend money here look at that you get these coins and everything but hey how do you get that um i wonder oh you spend money okay well free to play i'm sorry yes you're gonna be behind brother gonna be farming i mean yeah you can pay this with gold just let some pay to win access your account give them gold do some offline trading boom you can uh by giving gold to that person bay hey, and you can exchange these points here but uh, yeah anyways last thing i want to mention is roll the certs whatever obviously leveling them up is a good thing as you can see i don't even farm this stuff daily resource proficiency zero out of yeah i don't farm the stuff but uh i actually leveled up gathering I don't know why, because I was struggling with hemp. Yeah, some of these stats might have important stuff. Increases magic HP by 10, damage by 3, and skill strength. Pretty much you just want to farm and max out the XP here, because, yeah, it's the some of them have important skills to upgrade to get you stronger, as well as some things here make you stronger and increases your rating. For example, the scavenger right here. I have level 8 scavenger, because I always do scavenger mission. And this one, upgrading this gives you, what, melee damage? And if you unlock this, it's going to give you a rating, like 20. And if you keep checking out, the stats just get better. Increases max energy and so on so far but yeah that's it for this video chat i'm gonna upload maybe like two more videos for undone and i don't know there's took them five years to develop this game this game is super empty this game has nothing it has the same shit over and over lost city lost city lost city lost city i can keep going and keep going dude it's same as life after but actually like i would say that life after wins against the game dude life after is better than this game and on god pvp is better than life after like dude i mean i'm sorry undone but you failed this game is not gonna last long hope this video helped you guys take care and peace out